Hi YouTube, Million Dollar Batchmaker here and today we will be discussing bath bombs. And through this video we will be answering two essential questions. What are they? And through careful analysis, how do they work? So let's head over to the batch making area and get started, alright? Here we are in front of tank 4 and we're just mixing 300 kilograms of toilet water. Just kidding, it's purified triple distilled water if you must know. And inside this tank, we will be placing 11 bath bombs from Brambleberry.com. I'm not paid to promote Brambleberry.com, they're just an awesome place to buy bath bombs. So the tank itself is about 3 meters deep, so we're not going to see a ton of bubbles. But I do promise to use this camera to show you what's going on below the water's surface. So without further ado, let's conduct the bath bomb demo. All right. Let's count them off. One, two, let's do in different languages now. San, bon, punch. And if I'm butchering your language with my bad pronunciation, I'm sorry. Now that we've submerged our 11 bath bombs to create this fake hot spring effect, Let's bring our camera beneath the surface to see what's really going on. This is an up close view of one of our submerged bath bombs. And if you're wondering what makes it bubble like that, why is it giving off so much gas? Well, there are really two main ingredients involved. The first is sodium bicarbonate, a white powder that you probably call baking soda. It's commonly found in pharmacies and many people keep it in their fridges to, you know, absorb bad food odors. The second main ingredient is of course citric acid. A common ingredient in fruits and vegetables like grapefruits, oranges and tangerines, it serves as the acid in an acid-base reaction that we have outlined here. In the first part of this formula, sodium bicarbonate is the base, written as 3NaHCO3. Meanwhile, citric acid is the acid. The byproducts of this reaction are water, sodium citrate, and carbon dioxide gas, which is what all these bubbles are rising up from the bath bomb itself. Many bath bombs contain cornstarch as a binding material and Epsom salts for therapeutic reasons. And if you want to give your bath bomb some special qualities, you can add glitter, food coloring, and essential oils and fragrances. Combining these raw ingredients in a mold in just the right proportions will surely give you an explosive good time in the bathtub. And now a history lesson. Officially the bath bomb is the brainchild of Mo Constantine, product inventor and co-founder of Lush Cosmetics. As legend has it, she was inspired to create a product that mimicked the fizzing action of Alka-Seltzer but she wanted a therapeutic product that could be used in the bathtub as well. Thus, the bath bomb was created and history was made. Now, before we resurface, I wanted to show you this bath bomb recipe for those who are interested in making their own bubbly goodness. All right, I really gotta get out of here. I'm getting all pruney. Now, I've just gotta keep swimming up. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. All right, there we go. Once again, thank you guys for watching. And if you truly like our material, feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I answer everything. Once again, this is Million Dollar Batchmaker signing out.